You've probably roasted cauliflower florets before, but have you ever roasted a whole head of cauliflower? It's easier and more delicious than you might think. Hi everyone, it's Maya from wholesomeyum.com and I make easy, healthy recipes with 10 ingredients or less. And today I'm showing you how to roast a whole cauliflower head. If you've been to the Wholesome Yum website, you probably know I'm a big fan of cauliflower. It can take on so many different forms and flavors. You can make mashed potato replacements with it. You can make a loaded cauliflower casserole with bacon and sour cream and green onions and cheese. I'll link both of those videos down below for you. But the flavor of this veggie itself is so undervalued. We don't have to turn it into an imitation of something else. That's where this whole roasted cauliflower comes in. It's got plenty of flavor from the garlic, the Parmesan, the simple herbs. You're going to love it. Let's do this. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the cauliflower. Since we need it whole, obviously we are not going to cut it into florets, but we are going to remove the outer leaves. You can just kind of break them away like this and then we'll cut them at the bottom. And so now the tricky part is we're going to have to remove this core without breaking up the whole head. So I like to cut off a little at a time first just so I can see what I'm doing and then cut off more as I go. This is why removing the leaves is helpful, so you can see where you're cutting a little bit better. You can also use a paring knife for this if you prefer. I'm actually gonna grab one right now. So the key is to remove all the leaves and the extra core without removing the piece that is holding the head of cauliflower together. There, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to make the garlic Parmesan sauce. This is super simple with just basic ingredients. Start with a third of a cup of olive oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil here, but you can also use regular or even avocado oil. Next, we'll add the dried herbs. One teaspoon each of dried basil, dried parsley, and dried thyme. If you want to use fresh instead, you can. You'll need to use triple the amount, so one tablespoon of each. You can also use just a tablespoon of Italian seasoning instead of the combination of herbs. Add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of sea salt, or more if you want extra salt, but keep in mind that we are also adding two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, which is going to be salty as well. And the last thing we need is three cloves of crushed garlic. I've already peeled these here, and I'm going to use a garlic press to add these in. You could try minced garlic if you like, but it does burn more easily, so I prefer to use crushed because it's less likely to burn at the high temperatures that we're going to roast the cauliflower. Whisk the sauce all together to make sure that everything is well incorporated. And now we are ready to put this onto the cauliflower. So grab a large Dutch oven, and we're going to place the whole cauliflower head in there upside down. And now I can just spoon the sauce over the cauliflower. We're going to use about half on this side and then we're gonna flip it and do the other side. So just kind of drizzle it on, try to get it to go on as evenly as you can. Flip it over and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. This time I can just pour it on since I'm going to use the remainder of the sauce at this point. Just be careful so it doesn't all go to one side and you can use the spoon as needed. You can also use a pastry brush or a basting brush like this one to spread everything around evenly. Place the lid on the Dutch oven and roast the whole cauliflower at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 45 minutes. Now we are going to remove the lid and just double check that this is done. You can just poke it with a fork slightly and make sure it goes in pretty easily here. So you can see while this looks done, it doesn't look very golden. So what I'm gonna do is sprinkle this with another two tablespoons of grated Parmesan on top. Some of it will fall off, that's okay. And I'm just eyeballing them out here. Feel free to do however much you like. And now we are going to broil this uncovered for about five minutes, just to make sure it gets nice and golden brown. My whole roasted cauliflower is ready. So now comes the part that's a little bit nerve wracking, transferring it to a serving platter. I like to use these forks so that it doesn't fall apart. So let me show you how I do this. Get them underneath and kind of pierce if needed. And success. I also like to add a little bit more of that fresh grated Parmesan. You don't have to do this, but I just think it adds even more flavor. Can't have too much Parmesan. And some fresh parsley. 
Cutting this is fairly easy. It's very similar to cutting a pie. Okay, time to try this. I'm gonna get the end piece because this is the best part. But it's all gonna be really good. Ugh. So good. Plenty of garlic and Parmesan flavor, so tender. Let me know what you think if you try this. This is actually a great vegetarian main dish, but if you want a protein with it, this chicken breast recipe is the juiciest I've ever made.